Spencer in this film is having a tough time post high school, having somewhat of an identity crisis. Did you guys go through some kind of quarter life crisis in your early 20s or after you left high school? You still talking to your friends? It's complicated. I think mine's was while doing stand up comedy in the beginning of my career. Not realizing that I could be myself and I was trying to be a version of what I thought was funny or should be funny rather than just turning being tricks. Me. Well, that's to get that's, on stage. That's you not, would... Don't listen to that. That's. I think mine hit at around 27. I had a full quarter life crisis. Is that the quarter of your life? Are you trying to say that you're going to live older than all of us? <laughs> <laughs> it's the quarter of my life. I very similar. Though, though I wasn't in comedy, you're still trying to find your own identity, and I think it's you know everybody struggles with that. I think. We certainly did. What Spencer is going through, I think, is like super relatable. So I, and I remember thinking that when I was watching it. I think when you're grad, when you graduated college, you, you have certain like idealistic notions of the world and like what you're supposed to be doing. And I think that the beauty about that is that you're not really supposed to know. I didn't do the things that he did to get stage time. Well, you tried to be. I you know. know. <laughs> no, 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 no. You were trying to be Iron Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Jumanji! Let's say you guys are the marketing team and you gotta get people to play the game even though they might be stuck in the game forever. Mm -hmm. How would you guys market it? You would do it in uh, the rest of the world, right? I, no, I would not. Let oh, me tell you something. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about the game. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that you know the world, you don't know the world. <laughs> so we're like evil advertising people. I mean, I don't well, know. I you might be able to spin I it. I would release all kinds of animals into people's houses. Like, like, kind of like phone banking, just release the animals. You're gonna pick up the game and you're gonna love it. And when you're done playing it, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Ah. What? I mean, I'd be like, do you hate your life? Feeling a little depressed? Uh, Maybe it's a jungle. You can get right out of it and be in a jungle with adventure and be a hero and, and all of those things. That's what I would do. Yeah, I mean, yes. that's pretty good. I can't top that. <laughs> I will end it with just the smolder. Let me tell you. Oh, smolder, just hit that smolder. <laughs> What's going on? You having a heart attack? Breathe. Breathe. His whole left side is shutting down. Hey. If you are Regal movie fans, what do you want to tell them about why they should see this film? Jumanji is a movie that you got to see in a movie theater with your family and a bunch of other people. Yeah. In every corner, we said, how do we take this story about these people and just blow out what the tools are. We've got new players. New locations. Boom. New animals. Hey. <laughs> players, locations, no. and animals? New animals. Hey, I'm in. Animals. Where do I sign up? In one sentence. Uh, we're older and wiser. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that was existential. I like, I like the vibe here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we are bigger and fun, more fun. I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. 